Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Mr. Cobalt and today in this video we are going to go over to uh, and go over halogen reactions. And there's three main uh, types of reactions that halogens uh, tend to go through. Um, the first one is that um, <clears throat> uh, they like to react with metals in general in a certain way in which the number of moles of the halogen ends up being the number of halogen atoms that end up in the metal halide. So they like to form this compound here. We saw with the um, halide, I'm sorry, with the uh, alkali metals that the alkali metals react with the um, halogens in a way that you get the, the, uh, the salt, the, the halide metal or the metal halide. Uh, where it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but halides will react with different metals and depending on the metal, the metal could have a certain charge to it. So for example, if, uh, if you have iron and you have three moles of your uh, chlorine, for example, then this chlorine is going to react with all of the metal in order to make the compound such that you have three chlorines for every one metal. And that means that the iron here is gonna have a three plus charge, right? So if there were two moles here, then you only need uh, two moles to react with the iron. And so you probably end up with a two plus charge on the iron. And this would be Fe32 uh, instead of Fe3, uh, FeCl2 instead of FeCl3. Okay, so that this is the first type of reaction that you want to be aware of that halogens can can go through so they can react with metals and depending on the molar amount of of the halogen that will determine how many of the halide will be in in the uh the compound itself uh per one mole of your of your metal uh, the second reaction that halides can go through is that they can react with hydrogen gas to form uh, this um, acid, well, not I want to say acid, but this um, this hydrogen halide, uh, this compound here, so HX, where X again represents the halide. So here's an example where you have hydrogen gas reacting with bromine liquid, and that forms HBr gas. Now, the HBr gas, as a gas, it's not an acid, and so we wouldn't name it as an acid. So we would name it differently. We would name it as a molecule. So here would be uh, hydrogen bromide or monobromide, uh, but hydrogen bromide is a common name as well. Um, but if you put it in water, if it reacts with water, it will form a uh, an acid solution so it would be uh, an aqueous solution and there it would be an acid and you would have to name it like an acid so this would be a binary acid so you would you would name this if it was in water if it was aqueous then you would name this hydrobromic acid instead of hydrogen bromide or hydrogen monobromide all right so that's the second type of reaction the third is that halogens will react with each other to form this interhalogen compound where you have the halogens bonded together. So an example would be bromine liquid plus uh, fluorine gas, and then you get BRF gas. And so this is another kind of reaction that they'll go through. So um, again, if you're asked to uh, produce a reaction or if you're asked to balance an equation and they give you something like you have a, a halogen reacting with hydrogen gas, then you want to know what the product is going to be so you can balance the equation. So this is useful to know these common reactions for halogens um, in case you're asked that in, in a test or a homework or something like that. So I hope this is helpful. Um, if you like this video, please like the video, uh, share the video with your friends, uh, make a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, also you probably want to, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and uh, ring the notification bell uh, so you can get notified for other, other uh, uh, videos that I'll put out. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.